What greater gift than the love of a cat? That's Chuck Dickens. Wise, wise words there, <laughs> Chuck. I'm Justin, this is Jer- in Jersey number 14. And I'm Corey, Jersey number 72. I am fortunate enough as, a, as an owner of three cats to experience a lot of love, especially from the fat one, because, you know, more to go around, especially if you're a bigger size dude like me too. But we are going to spread the love ourselves today because it is gift giving season, Justin. That's right, that's right Jack. So, and, and what better to, what better gift to give than the gift of gear? You know, and it's insane that I've never thought about this ever in life because whenever, whenever I get gear, I get it for myself, really. Right. And... You know, I don't really have any other gear freaks in my life, but to th- to think that it took me this long, right, to think of a topic like this, it's a great idea, dude. We're helping the people out today. Yeah, because if you have if you have anybody in your life who loves gear as much as Corey and I do, and chances are you do, you have some sort of sports fan in your life, and yep, and they love their team's gear. Like that's a one hundred percent lock that they do absolutely you can't go wrong you it, cannot go wrong it is a win-win situation like i think the only time i it's ever been a loss was and i still rock the damn thing it, i got a turtle neck a vikings turtleneck one year for christmas turtlenecks can be good though man well and i, I took the negative and turned it into a positive and okay. started wearing it under my Vikings jersey with my name and number on it. Dude, hell yeah. And so it was like, okay, so like maybe I don't like it was it was just a very plain, you know, Minnesota right. Vikings and purple and you take a negative and just like, okay. Make it work, man. Long sleeves. Hell yeah. And now suddenly I right. have an undershirt for my jersey. I'm good. And I'm, that, I'm good for cold weather now. Yeah. So I you really can't as long as you know the team. Yes. You're not going to go wrong. That's it. That's it, man. And the cool thing about it, too, is there's a lot of different ways you can take it because there's a lot of people out there. Like, obviously, you know, you prefer to wear your own team's gear, right? Like, I, I know me personally, I if you're going to go gear, I, the majority of the time, I'm going to opt to rock my own teams. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, I've got some other stuff in the closet, man. Like the, we've said before here on the pod, I'm I'm a big baseball hat guy. Yep. I've I've got, you know, I own hats that aren't the Phillies. I own hockey sweaters that aren't the Flyers. It's okay to color outside the line sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it just depends on a personal preference. But but so if you've got somebody like that, now it opens up a lot of windows for opportunity. You know what I mean? And gear has taken a different. I think there's there's certain like if you were to go Mount Rushmore of gear, you got to go you know jerseys one, yeah, hats are up there, you know your shirt your your base level stuff which is awesome, but they've got now man you can get like shoes with your yeah, team's dude. logo on them, you can get Oakley has a deal with the NFL now they may even with the other leagues I'm not sure if not you know it's probably coming an Oakley deal with the other leagues yeah so it's just there's so many levels of gear. That you can go now. It's not like back in the day where you get a magazine in the mail, East Bay. Yeah, dude, you know? East Bay. East Bay was where it was at. You know what's funny about East Bay is, and I I still I still wish I got East Bay, because I remember uh, some friends got East Bay. I got like maybe two East Bays. Yeah, but dude. friends, you pass around the East Bay, yes. pocket one. <laughs> yes. It never makes it back to whoever's it is. <laughs> but like, I, they're blank jerseys. Yeah. I yeah. wanted blank jerseys so bad yes to dude. put whatever i wanted on them a whole anything like yep. for a gear freak like us yes a blank jersey is a win it's a blank canvas you can do whatever you want anything you can stitch anything in, on there and it yep. can be any sport yes exactly well maybe not basketball for us <laughs> <laughs> so three of the four we're good yes <laughs> but like how I, that's where my love of baseball jerseys like just yep. l- looking at these blank jerseys and I'm like man what I couldn't do with this yeah dude and what I, was, I couldn't do better than the teams that yeah. have them I want I want to get three of these one for Mike one for Talbert and we'll put our names and numbers on these yeah and dude. we'll put some stupid name on the front whatever yes. we came up with that year right dude yeah oh my god <laughs> coolest idea ever you know yeah dude it it the east bay i miss when the east bay was 
and I don't want to get bogged down here in East Bay too much, but I remember like when the it was a thing, man. Like in school, like yo, did you get the new East Bay? You know, yeah. Like that that shit was like drugs, dude. <laughs> you know, and you're like, okay, like that was because that was a bit. This was pre like everybody having the internet in their pocket right. at all times. So you had to like you could go to www dot eastbay.com i'm assuming or you could call the 1-800 number or whatever it was and order your you know priest holmes jersey or whoever it was that you so chose but it it man it was so cool and it it's it's very much of a time and a place in an era but we have so much now we have the privilege of having just all of this stuff at our fingertips are you kidding me east bay is still around Justin just now pulled up the East Bay, which is, if you're interested, eastbay.com now. It's still the same logo. It's still the <laughs> same logo, so which makes me happy as hell. Their website uh, is not as dope as the magazines were. I know. Like something about but, having it in your hand. Yeah, dude. And they always had like World. a distinct smell to them. Mm-hmm. Um, very, very cool. I'm glad they're still around, even if you know they're not getting shipped to the house once every other month or whatever it was. You know, it, it still makes you, you know, still makes you feel good. And and like we were saying, now with having everything at your disposal, though, you've got everybody has the world at their fingertips, literally. So you can, I mean, you can be sitting on the dumper at work. Yeah. And and you know what? I'm going to order me a, 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 an Oakland A's hat for my Uncle Johnny or whoever the fuck. Yeah. And there's so much you can do. There's so many avenues you can explore. You can even fuck around and see if, like we we're saying, you color outside the lines and see if somebody else is down for it. Well, okay, I, I, you know, I remember so and so said they like this team. Well, let me get them or whatever and see if they like it. You know, so maybe now you can encourage somebody else to step outside their fandom and go, yeah, I'd wear this. Well, and you know, <clears throat> there'll be a conversation on this further down the line too. If you really want to go outside the box, you you, I don't know. Is I'm sure lids is still a thing. Yes, I don't go to malls anymore. <laughs> right, right. But uh, like uh, on uh, a minor league baseball hat, dude. Yeah, like, there are some dope fucking there ball are. caps. There are man. That, shoot, like I've been thinking about. I miss fitted cap. I used to be fitted cap guy. Yeah, and. Uh, I don't know, like five, six years ago, I decided, honestly, Greg Proof said something in his podcast about uh, don't wear ball caps. And I was like, okay, maybe I won't wear it. Grown men, grown men I think there's something along the lines, grown men wearing ball caps. And he always, he's always making fun of them. And it's bad enough I wear shorts all the time. I don't want, I, if I meet Greg, I don't want him to look at my shorts and then I'm wearing a ball cap. He's, and my name's Justin. Like, he's he's just going to rip me to shreds. You check all the boxes. He's just going to destroy me. But uh, I've been thinking about going back to ball caps because I miss fitted ball caps. Yeah, dude. If you have a gear freak in your life, a ball cap is yes. a win. Now, yes. And if if you don't know their team, yep. especially if we're talking like baseball specifically, if you get a minor league team... Mm-hmm. Just buy something that looks cool. That's it, man. If they are a gear freak, yeah, they're in. Minor league baseball, I think, is the best at doing like wacky promotions oh, yeah. and getting the most out of it. There are all sorts of just obscure stuff that teams will do. I think it was the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, I believe, which is <laughs> one of the Phillies, yeah, AAA affiliates, you know. What do you get from from a pig? You get bacon. There's some level of bacon hat, I'm pretty sure. Like they did a bacon night or something like that. And it's super cool, man. You get a lot of off-the-wall stuff in minor league baseball. And like you said, that is the perfect way to go because you can find a lot of hats when you talk minor league baseball. There it is, the bacon strip on a hat. That just makes me so happy. (laughs) I mean, it's stepping outside the box. It is. It is. There's an angry slice of bacon there as well. I prefer him. I like bacon with an attitude. Mm-hmm. Um, but something like this, man. Like who? Who is going to open a box? And there's one with a taco on it. Like who is going to open a box that has one of these hats in there and go, uh, "Why? I don't like this." Yeah, if you. Right. Like, no, you're wrong. That's yeah. not- Why are you not smiling? I got you a hat with a taco on it. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's your problem? 
instant happiness is what comes to mind when I see those. Yeah. And I think that's what it is, is you, like you said, and you touched on it, ball caps are, it, they're top of the list, I think. Jerseys as well. 1A, 1B, whatever you choose. Jerseys, I think jerseys is one, but the problem with jerseys is it has to be precise. Yes. Like, it has to either be a player mm-hmm. or it has to be the team. Cause it if, does. If somebody, we talked off air, like I would, of the Yankees, there is one Yankees jersey I would buy, I would wear. Right. I had Derek Jeter. Yep. If somebody showed up at my house with a Mariano Rivera jersey, yeah. I'm telling them to piss off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. Right. Fuck the Sandman. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Do you know me at all? Right. Get right. the fuck out of here. Leave now or I'm calling the authorities. Yeah, dude. It, it It's weird because I think, and I don't know that everybody's this way. I don't think so. But there's only, there's, I used to be. I used to be willing to wear football jerseys that were not the birds. Mm -hmm. I used to be. I don't know so much that I would do it anymore. Now, I very much want, and this is more so because the wife is a Bengals fan and the in-laws are, and I've always liked them and their gear is orange and black and yay. (laughs) I would like to get a Joe Burrow jersey. Yeah. You know. Number six? uh, Nine. Nine. Um, but it's one of those good looking number, especially in yeah, dude. Right. And it's like, but you can't, I would do that. Like, but I'm not going to, I'm not roaming around like rocking a a Detroit lions Jersey. You know what I mean? I'm very, I would be very, very whatever when it comes to football hockey, however. Oh yeah. Hockey sweaters. Uh huh. I'll I'll go I'll go with you. You know. And there's very few in hockey that if I'm pulling it out, going fuck out of here. Right, right, dude. Almost any team. I mean, don't roll up with a Colorado Fs, <laughs> and especially those Deeks ones. Even though the Deeks ones are sweet, uh, we've talked ad nauseum about them. Yes, they better be the real Deeks. They better be the real Deeks, not the getting, Denver Deeks. Yeah, get that out of here. <laughs> Uh, also, do not come up here with a Winnipeg Blue Bombers jersey. Yes, <laughs> or you, you, fuck off. you will get it, and so will they if they ever answer our fucking DMs on Twitter. Just something, anything. <laughs> even at you this point, you can't even point, tag them in in pictures. Like I was gonna, that was gonna be my next <laughs> tactic. <laughs> Smoke them out. It's funny because it, at least even just. Like, can you at least respond with a middle finger emoji? Yeah, even? like, hey, fuck off. <laughs> like, okay, now we have a feud. <laughs> right, right. Now we've got something. Yeah. But they took the time to respond. Hell in a cell. Don't it's just, on. yeah, yeah, dude. Don't just put us on a shelf, man. What the fuck? Unreal. Go to hell, Winnipeg, with your gold. Gold. How dare you? <laughs> but, I, I mean, seriously, like, how? A hockey, any hockey sweater now. Ho- hockey sweaters can get pricey. Yes, but again, I think jerseys are one. Yep. hats are two. Yeah, uh, especially for me right now. Especially, I'm not wearing ball caps. But like I, I was looking earlier for. I used to have a Wake Forest uh, fitted cap, dude. Hell yeah! So it was like all black. Uh, the WF for Wake Forest in yellow or gold lettering. Yep, yep. Oh. Sweet dude, and it's just you know. There's like a Deacon version of it too, which is yeah. nice too. The only one that's not good, they have a gold version of it, like a flopped. No, okay, get that yeah, out of no. But no. I mean, the hats. I feel like you you can be, you don't have to be as careful with. Yes, because if if somebody rolled up with the Deeks hat, even if they didn't know I was a Deeks fan, right, right, I'm gonna accept that. And I'm Hell gonna be happy yeah, about dude. It. Just about any college team, I'm gonna yes. be happy about. Like, yeah. unless you get one of the squads that I hate, like again, Yanks. Maple right. leaves. Like, it's <laughs> blue bombers. It, <laughs> it, there's very few hats that you're going to, that I'm going to unpack and go get the fuck out. Right. I do not want. Return this. I hope you kept the receipt. Yeah. <laughs> you it's know? Very, very few. Yeah. Yeah. And I, hats are always like, you can, you can play with a hat a little bit more because you can not only, and the cool thing with a hat is, as opposed to a jersey, you can wear. You can wear, you can take a hat and you can pair it with a t-shirt mm-hmm. or whatever. A hat is versatile. You can do many things with it. You can wear it with a jersey. You can wear it with a shirt that matches, you know, whatever. You can go just plain tee that matches whatever. Like I wore the Padres hat here once, yeah. you know, to record. 
it, 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 I could, if I wanted to, I could look like a piece of wood paneling from the 80s and rock a brown T-shirt with yeah. it if I wanted to. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can do more. You have more options with a hat than you do a jersey. But I do agree. I think you could, you're right. The jersey is at the top of the list, I think. I think 1A, and then you go hat would probably be 1B, I think. Because um, jersey, like you said, you got to – there's More two, thought has to get put into it. There jersey. is, for sure, man. And you got two types of people. There's people that are only rock their teams, and there's people that'll go, no, I dig that, man. I'll fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. You know, so it just depends. You gotta if you're gonna go Jersey, you gotta know who you're buying for mm-hmm. well enough to be able to make an informed decision. You can't just roll the dice. And plus, besides, there's a difference between going out and spending thirty, forty bucks on a hat. Oh, yeah. And spending a hundred something plus dollars on a jersey. Yeah. Like, if you spend that much money on somebody, you want them to like it. Mm-hmm. Or at least, you know, that or you just, you know, maybe you, maybe you need to put some charity in your life because you got a lot of money to waste. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so you got to you gotta know the person you're buying for really fucking well if you go in jersey. So now to kind of bring it to, like, really taking chances, if you're brave... Again, if you if you know your people, now this is something I'm gonna end up buying this for myself. We talked about this last week. Yeah, dude. So the movie Basketball exists. For anybody who doesn't know, there's gonna be a whole episode on gear that exists in movies. We will get to that. Damn right. Uh, but there's a Milwaukee Beers have a jersey, and it's so cool. I forever wanted it, and a friend tagged me in it uh, on Facebook Machine, and I just happened to be on the Facebook Machine. And was like, I would like a Milwaukee Beers jersey. (laughs) So, I mean, if you're really willing willing to go out on a limb, again, knowing who you're buying for. There's a store here in the Peninsula Town Center that has stuff like this. Yes. Where where you can get, like, uh, stuff that exists in movies. You can get, like, the Toon Squad basketball jerseys. Yeah, dude, the Boucher. Yeah, like, if, if you know who you're buying for. You can take this chance. Yeah. And yeah. they will. If this showed up at, under my tree, do you know how fired up I'd Jazz, be? Jazz, dude. Yeah, it's a win on Christmas morning. I suddenly didn't have to buy this myself. Like, right. Yo. Now you can take the money that you were going to spend on that. You can go get you a hat to match with it if you want. Yeah. You know, boom. Just take some chances. Uh, with, a, with a gear freak. Again, I don't know how many actual gear freaks there are like that just there should be more i'm assuming there's a lot yeah and they, they just haven't found us yet yes but the uh the a, a real gear freak will except for the teams that they hate like yes they'll rock anything that's what i was gonna say the main really if you can if you can nail down who somebody hates mm-hmm. that is a big part because you can eliminate then Okay, and then you go to the middle ground, and well, do I want to roll the dice on something? Like you said, the Milwaukee Beers jersey, man, anybody that's seen basketball, anybody is going to see that and go, yo, Mm -hmm. that would be sick. Yeah. You know, a Willie Beeman jersey, a Sharks jersey from any given Sunday, like shit like that, dude. I mean, this this fad now of the movie jerseys coming to life is, I can't believe that it took till 2020 (laughs) to where we got there. Yeah. Honestly, like you can buy jerseys from any other sport that you watch on TV. Mm-hmm. Why did we take this long, man? I mean, you know, I imagine, I imagine that store probably has bad new bad news bears jerseys. They would have to. I mean, that if would not. Make sense we to just me. gave them an idea, and we yeah. want to cut ten percent right here. You heard it here first. Put it on the table. Uh, and I want to go one last angle because yeah, this is what sprung the. Th- this is again going outside of the box. Yep, sort of. <laughs> this is what sprung the conversation today. Okay. Yeah, you, dude. Uh, your boy Rob. Yes. Told you about the uh, buy one, get one for a dollar sale on WWEshop.com. Yep. Now's the time, if you have a wrestling fan in your life who is a gear freak. Yep. Check out wrestling t-shirts. Dude. I mean, you can look at all, like some of the other stuff too, but a shirt is your, probably your best bet. A hundred percent. And the best thing is if you've got somebody like me, because I want to, I want to pick your ear when we get off here, off air here about my decision and what route I'm going to go. Um, 
because they had an Undertaker shirt that I wanted, but they didn't have it in my size. And I immediately went, oh, man, (laughs) all the other fat dudes beat me to it. But I think the cool thing about wrestling shirts is, especially the way Shop Zone is now, is that you have, for somebody like me who is not still like an avid watcher, Mm -hmm. but I've always believed if once a wrestling fan... You're always only a wrestling one good fan. episode of Raw away from being back in. Being hooked, dude. Yes. Exactly, man. And so if you're somebody like me who's not watching Raw, SmackDown, NXT every week now, they've got a Legends and Alumni section. Yep. And there are if 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 you're if you're somebody where their home page, you scroll through and you go, who like I, I, I can I can I know who the people are on their homepage. You know what I mean. I know who these guys are. Could I tell you who all their finishing moves are? Who their hottest feud is? No, but I know who they are. Mm-hmm. But if you're somebody like me, and nothing that they have on their regular superstars T-shirts page appeals to you, you've got the alumni section, and holy shit, dude! Yeah, there there are some gems here, man. There really are. There's some obscure stuff. They even have like, like the old like, the ones you would have bought in the nineties. Yeah, dude. Like the, I never would have dreamed of purchasing one of these Brett Hitman. I was a Brett guy. Yes, yeah, same, dude. And I always hated the nineties <laughs> shirts because like they had the guy on it. I don't yes. want that. <laughs> right. I just want a word or something. Yeah. Give me a phrase. But I mean, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like. I would kind of probably rock this. Oh, dude. Look, right here. My two favorites of all time right yep. next to each other, Undertaker and Bret Hart. Yep. Oh, and they're on the buy one, get one for a dollar. I mean, I probably, <laughs> I probably would not wear these because they have their faces on them. It is, there is something weird about, and I'm the same way, because I remember like back in the day you would, you know, like your parents would buy you, and there was something different about Say an Austin 316 shirt, mm-hmm. and like, oh, hey, I saw this shirt for you for $3, and I wanted to buy. I wanted to be nice. And they give it to you, and it's got Austin himself on there, and yeah. you're just kind of like, oh, Hi. thanks. <laughs> I'll wear it once or twice. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, three weeks later, they go, hey, why haven't you? Oh, I did. You just didn't <laughs> see me that day. You didn't see it in the in the laundry? It's in there, I promise. <laughs> Yeah, like this Austin shirt. Like, the text is cool. It is, but that is 100%. You know what I think when I see that? And I don't know if this is a chain that uh, is nationwide, but I see that and I immediately think of roses. (laughs) Like, (laughs) right, dude? Yeah, dude. $4 rack. Yep. Like, this diesel shirt. (laughs) (laughs) Never. I love diesel. I I love Big Teddy Cool, man, but no. (laughs) Nah, that ain't happening. His full body is on them. <laughs> In a truck. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I get it. It does. But no. no. I don't. I don't. No, I don't need all of that. I don't need all of that. There are some cool ones I saw, though, that have like cartoon versions of the dude. And look, what Earthquake. sucks is if you scroll down. Dude, uh, uh, one second. Yeah, you, you're you good. take John Tenta off of this, and I would rock this shirt. Yes. We'll see, because you know you know how your boy feels about Vader. There's a Vader one of these, if you scroll down, and I saw it. Oh, here's the cartoon ones. I was like, Watch. yeah, there's a couple of those that are sweet. I like this Taker one. But there is, there, I think, there it is, the ah, Vader one. What I are your it. thoughts on that Vader shirt? I mean, it's, see, Weird. But it's different because it's not like him. It's a drawing of him. And suddenly I'm it okay is. with it. It is. It's just like, aw. <laughs> can it can it just say Vader time? Even though I wasn't big on that whole deal, I prefer like WCW Vader. Yeah. Because Vince ruined him. But actually HBK did kind of. But I'm just like, I would love to wear a Vader shirt because I love Vader. Yeah. And I was scrolling through this legend section. I came across this and went, <gasps> oh. This one doesn't bum me out as much as the Austin one because it's a drawing. But yeah, it's still because like, it's not I, roses is a circle rack. I, I do feel like they could have done this guy a little bit better. They could have, man. That's his only. Rest in peace. 
Yes, R.I.P. Big Van Vader. You know, you know for a fact he doesn't have a fucking second shirt. No, on Shop Zone. That's the only option you got if you're somebody like me and you go, I'd rock a Vader shirt. Look at that Luger. I mean, it for a Luger shirt though. <laughs> I mean. I'm never going. I hate Lex Luger. <laughs> that's that's a conversation for a different day. It, I I dig these animated ones though. Yeah, these are cool. I'm, I mean they they look like children. Some of yeah, them very cartoony. I'm into it though. It is cool. See, like Austin three sixteen and The Rock just bring it. I mean, I those are top end, dude. And even this, like, because it's cheesy. The uh, the pose. Yeah. You can see. And. <laughs> These ones are cool too, like so. Oh, if you go fa- shit, far dude. enough down, they have like before they made it. Yo, so you got Mean Mark Callis, you got Sex and Hardcastle, the Ringmaster, uh, terrorizing. Hold on, terrorizing, dude. Yeah, holy shit. And the Diamond Stud. Diamond Stud. Wow. But I mean, again, if you if, for the wrestling fan in your in your life, if they're a gear freak, you can do wrong because. No, this Triple H, I am your pain shirt, that ain't happening. No, that's awful. That is awful. I don't like this either, but... Triple H has always had weird shirts. Yeah, because he's he's biker guy. Right. So, like, it always, like, I don't know. If you like biker shirts, yeah. Yeah. Like this one. That's very much a biker shirt. Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. I was looking, too, because I was poking around a little bit. That one's fun. I like that. For Life NWO. Do you? It doesn't reek of the roses rack to you, man. I've never like because like, it's funny you say that, man. Because I've like I've never even thought that like out loud to anybody. But the <laughs> the multiple people, like especially if you're a faction <laughs> and you have all of those motherfuckers. This is not NWO. They have the Outsiders, Hogan, and X Pac is on there, which yep. would be six in this case. Yeah, and they, you have four motherfuckers on the front of this shirt. There is a lot going on, dude. There is a lot going on. I kind of dig these. These are cool. The Mom 316. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. They also have, which I ended up um, coming across, and I wish they were part of the deal. Yeah, Batista can go to hell. What's funny is I like him, but not... It's basically because I like Dave Batista. Okay. I never liked Batista. Gotcha. That makes sense. Gotcha, yeah. Well, I think that... When you, if if you go in the end, the wow, ice cream ones, that is freaking cool. This ain't happening. No. Oh, dude, that is, that is as bargain this bin might. as it gets. The the six pack NWO. Okay. Might. See, I, as much as I would love the an NWO shirt, I've never been a six or an X pot guy. So okay. I, I, uh, I get it. Uh, I get it. Give me the one, just the straight NWO all day, every day, dude. Yeah. I wish they had this Wolfpack one that was just black and red. That is sweet. They've got, these are the ones, those are the ones I like that, uh, the, like the kind of, it's got all their stuff up there. I mean, they're full body ones, but they're kind of cartoony. Like, I like those. I dig that style. The fan yeah, zone uh, graphic deals. NXT also has a lot of cool ones, and they've got some uh, Halloween Havoc shit. Yeah, because that happened recently, but they're <laughs> they're not part of the dude, deal. They've got rip them shirts. Holy shit! From No Holds Barred. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> cool. I need to There's, scroll down more, dude. Oh, that's the retro. Yeah, let's leave this though. Because <laughs> <laughs> let's go to NXT real quick. This wasn't. This isn't what we meant to do. But again, we're talking about things that you could get yeah. for the wrestling fan or gear freak in your life. Exactly, and there there is a lot to choose from. I There's like the the wheel. That wheel I want. Johnny but Gargano it, hates wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I I like this. I like the NXT with the pumpkin. That's cool. That is sweet. Um, there there's some cool stuff up here, man. There is. It's Gargano and Candice. <laughs> They've got NXT has some 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 okay stuff. Again, <clears throat> the problem with WWE just in general is most of their gear is not great. Most right. of the shirts are not great. They stumble onto some great ones occasionally. Like uh Bronson Reed's awesome. 
I love that he's called Colossal Bronson Reed. I think that's cool. It is. This shirt can go to hell. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. I kind of, okay. I get what they're doing. And Again, con- conceptually, it all works. Because yeah. his, his jumbo screen is like him basically being a Colossus, going through, busting shit okay. through the city. So this is just a still shot, essentially, from that. It just, oh, uh, man. Come on. Yeah. Do better. Or we can just do the words. That would be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. These guys are cool, wow. too. The God of the Fantasma. Eat my tank. Shotzi. <laughs> Dexter Loomis is cool, but eh, this shirt isn't awful. It could be better. I need to look at I some like more this, of these. I like this Carrying Cross shirt. That is pretty sweet. See, I got a Keith Lee one, which they may have... Because he's on Raw now, so they may have moved his stuff to Raw. Okay. Just trying to think of some of the NXT ones I bought. I got a Gargano from before he uh, turned into a bad guy. I love Tegan Knox. I feel like they can do better. That is awful. Shirt. That is not good, dude. I love the color scheme. I love... Yeah, the colors. What is that logo, though? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Not good. The Poison Pixie, I dig. I like this Karrion Cross shirt too yeah he's got some cool gear Karrion Cross definitely has some cool gear uh the Undisputed Era's stuff is typically cool too from what I see yeah <laughs> we're getting way deep into the weeds here <laughs> <laughs> Balor stuff is always cool I like Balor stuff yeah Balor shit's cool I was trying to see because I hadn't looked down here in a while the Forgotten Sons have been forgotten <laughs> That's a whole thing. I loved this when it came out. Um, when Tyler Breeze went back to NXT, he came out with a new shirt, the Prince Pretty Don't Touch Me shirt. Okay. That is pretty sweet. And this Mia Yim shirt I always liked. I just haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, as you dude. can see, there's a lot of like not great stuff. And we talked about this before this show started. Uh, yeah. Well, it's even it's even like like my girl Tony Storm. There she like is. I, I don't hate it. I dig it, man. I do. It's just like ah, like you could. But again, I would rather have that, believe it or not, than a shirt with like, you know, that's too busy. Yeah, yeah. With well, in with you know, her on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's so many like this. Ember Moon rules. This shirt does not. I just I, I wish they would take her name out of it. Yeah. Even like that that looks cool. The Ring of Fire looks sweet, but that that font looks like clip art. Yes. Like they couldn't do anything better. I love this shirt, but we're not going to talk about this guy. That is a cool shirt, but yeah, he he we will we will keep him being unmentioned, but he does have cool gear. Yeah. But I mean, again, if if you know you I got this one. The Swerve Scott. Oh, okay. But that I know I know you don't like the white shirts, but this screams nineties to me. Everything about it. It does, dude. It does. I, I love it. The shirt is cool as hell. I um, like him too. I can't do I just can't do white, man. I wish I could, but I can't. And then I mean again with wrestling stuff, it's more than the shirts too. Like if you're willing to take that chance and you know the person's like a a wrestling gear freak. Yeah. Like we're down into like the chalk line jackets. There's there's like chocolate jack- jackets up the end. There's socks. I have a pair of Hogan socks. Uh, they are really cool. I love the chalk line stuff. Don't get anybody a, a belt. Because <laughs> nothing is worse than being belt guy. It um, is. Obnoxious. I mean, unless you're unless you're into that. But I don't want to know you if you're belt guy. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. Being belt guy is egregious enough. But to then go and buy the side plates. Oh. Yeah. Is, I feel like, a whole other level that really needs to go to hell. <laughs> you know? Like, if, if you're going that far, you're you're gone. Oh, I haven't seen this one. I like this one. Bray Wyatt's, like, stuff is so hit or miss right now. Like, they are throwing everything at the wall. So, like, where's the shirt that I got? I don't know if it's even up here anymore. Um, I love the fiend, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, I've got the Wyatt Jim shirt. 
Okay. They might not have it up here anymore. But I, I love that. Because, again, stepping outside the box, it's not right. your typical. It's like a cartoon version of him. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't hate this one. But, it's not terrible. But you're getting into that territory of person's face. Yeah. The, same with this. That's like, oh, person's God. face. Right. Don't give me this. I'm into. That's fun. Like you said, cartoon is different than, like, photograph. This I'm on the fence about. In theory, I like it a lot. I do dig that. I do dig it. And probably worse. See this one again. In theory, I like, but I don't. I don't think I would buy that. Whereas this one that looks like the TV, I probably would. It's also on the buy one. Ooh, get one. that is. I just noticed that. Huh. But there's so much. Oh, I didn't even know you could get the entrance lantern. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I knew you could get the masks. Apparently, you can get the replica mask for 200 Jeez. Good God. I'm just saying, like, he's making the boss some money right now. He is. You can also buy a replica Bray Wyatt belt yeah. in case you really want to be a belt guy. And then you know what you can do? You can get some Bray Wyatt side plates. <laughs> yeah. They've got, they were selling the, you can also get the fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're going all out. I like this dissection shirt. That is pretty cool. I don't even remember this, uh, like where this came from. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's an operation dissection. <laughs> anyway, we that got like really sidetracked there. So I down mean, the rabbit hole. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good though. We're here to help. We're here to help. And ultimately, if there is a gear freak in your life, shoot. If you don't know what to get, We're give here. Car- yeah. Well, yeah. But gift card to somewhere where this person can get gear. Yeah. You can never go wrong, man. People, people, there's this narrative that a gift card is like a lazy gift. Dude, if I get a gift card, I'm jazzed. Especially now, like, you don't... Remember back in the day when you did gift cards, the only... Like, you could get a gift card, but it was only for, like, a certain place. Yeah. Now you can go, like, the Visa gift card route where you can... You can use that motherfucker wherever. Yeah, you can dude. buy stuff online with it if you uh-huh. want. You can you can go literally wherever with it, and it works like cash. Yeah. Those things are amazing. Yeah. And, I mean, we're trying to make this as easy as possible for you. So, if you don't, if, if you don't know your Gear Freaks teams, yeah, and you don't, for whatever reason, want to find out... <laughs> Uh, okay (laughs) right then maybe you should just then then gift card for sure if you know the teams and you're willing to spend i think jersey i i know whenever i got a jersey i was always jazzed up dude again it that is the home run if oh if you get the right jersey it's home run and the good thing about jersey is it just has to not be the wrong one that's it man that is literally it just Don't not get be the somebody they hate. Yeah, that's all you got to do, and you're gonna win. Because if if you get a hockey sweater and it's like a third line player, which I don't know why you're buying third line player, but <laughs> what, that's neither here nor there. Right. Just, if I if I get a third line Devils hockey sweater, I'm fired up. Yeah, dude. You can still wear it out. It still looks dope. It's still the Devs. It's still right. It's your team. It's a hockey sweater. It looks badass. Win, win, win. There is you no know? loss there. None. None. Everybody wins. You win. For giving the person the gift that they enjoy, they win for being able to wear it in public. Yep. Smiles across the board, you know? Yep. There, there's a lot to do. The wrestling shirt angle is also great. Um, like there, there's still something, even even for people like me that have been out of it for a while, there's always something there. And there's still, like you said, you put it perfectly, you're always one Raw or SmackDown away from being pulled back in. Yep. You know what I mean? Maybe... You know, maybe the wrestling shirt is all it takes for them to go, well, let me give it a shot. You know, this Monday night game sucks. Do I really need to watch it? Yeah, really. You know, I don't need Jets Dolphins in my life. I can watch. <laughs> no one does. You know? I don't even watch football, and I know <laughs> no one needs that game. No one wants that shit. So, yeah, let me let me give Raw a shot and see if they hook me. Yeah. That's all it takes, man. Uh, And I guess last thing I'll say about it is uh, – just don't get them Winnipeg Blue Bombers. <laughs> That's it. That is the li- the line of demarcation is Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Unless if- you hate them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're willing to spend money on someone you hate. Then right. Good for you. Then, then, yeah, exactly. Then then pay it forward and give them junk. 
And if you don't know what the Winnipeg Blue Bombers gear look like, look it up and know that that is that is the mark. Anything that looks better than that is acceptable. Mm-hmm. Anything that is that there is no below that. There is none. There is that six feet of shit. <laughs> then there is junk above that, and then you start getting to the good stuff. Yeah. Once you get to the shit, you're okay. Even still. Yeah. But there, but are, there no are plenty Winnipeg. of like garbage jerseys that I would still rock. Yeah, dude. Like, as much as I hate like um, the Grant Hill Pistons, like right, the, right. the green ones. Yeah, I would still rock a Grant Hill if it's Grant yeah, Hill. Right. Some of them, some of them are almost you get into that too bad it's good category. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's almost like like I'm a horror movie fan. There's some that are just the worst that you would show to most people and they would go, "Why the fuck do you watch this?" <laughs> But inside, you're like, dude, get the popcorn. This shit is awesome. Like, you can get into that territory 100%. You know, like like we've said about, you know, the Fisherman Islanders. You think they're bad 20 years ago when you come around on them, and you're like, yo, man, these are actually kind of cool. Why did I shit on them for all these years? <laughs> it was just the wrong time, apparently. Right, right. Well, <sighs> I feel like we've done our job here. I feel like we've done a great we civil service. We have helped the people. I think we've given them great advice. Um, again, just it, in a nutshell, anything that's not Winnipeg Blue Bombers, and mm-hmm. you win, you it's win. True, they will be happy. You will get you will get rewarded for your gift giving this holiday season. And if you don't want to learn the teams that they hate, gift card. That's it. And that bottom line, they could buy their own gear. Yep, they can buy their own gear. So, if you would like to gift your gear freaks, it's also very simple for us. That's it. Share that link. We're easy. We're low maintenance. Man. Oh yeah, like uh, subscribe, rate, comment. Like that. That's huge gift for yeah, us. Yeah, dude. That's all we want. You don't need to send us gift cards. I mean, we'll take cool. it. We'll take it. Do not send us blue bombers. Gear. Yes, no. Anybody but them. But, but other than that, you know, keep your money. Keep your money. We just want your support. That's all. I will say this: if anybody sends us blue uh, bombers gear, I would rock it, only because Irony. somebody bought it for us. Yes. Yes. But I will, I will uh, see that as an act of aggression, and it will be all out war from here on out. <laughs> so, why do you hate me so much? Be careful what you wish for. You sent me this shit. Just be careful what you wish for. <laughs> but uh, yeah, subscribe, rate, comment. Um, sharing is caring. Yes. And again, like the the word of mouth, that is the best Christmas or holiday or period gift that's it man. you could get for your gear freaks and we would appreciate that a great deal. yeah so tell somebody and uh what else you can find us on all the podcast platforms right yep where gear else can you find us man ig twitter at gear freaks pod we are always there uh tweeting and posting on ig about uh about episodes upcoming stuff all that good stuff gear pictures we want your feedback on that all kinds of good stuff it's all there visually it's all there share it out retweet like follow all of the all of the various social media activities. And we are our gift to you. Suckers! Oh. <laughs>